Yo, how's it going, everyone? It's Fita Boy. Uh, I usually don't like record videos too much. I usually just use VODs, but <clears throat> today I am doing something special, I guess, since I am on the PB server right now, because for once, Riot has acknowledged Kled as a champion, and Kled has actually received a buff on his queue. As you can see right here. Actually, I should probably buy my items first before. I guess this Silas top. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go long sword uh, the full ball. I either go deep, deep blade um one pot or long sword the full ball in melee matchups. Usually in bruisers I go uh deep blade in one pot. But there's gonna be some occasions where I go long sword. But yeah, let's. Uh, I'll get into all the stuff in a minute. But yeah, the main change was on Kled's Q, which was now after Kled like yanks the enemy with the second part of his Q, it actually has healing reduction for 60% for five seconds, which is actually absurd for five seconds. That is so long. I have a feeling before it goes onto the live server, they're going to trim down the amount of time to like probably three seconds. That's I'd assume because I feel like five seconds is way too much. Especially for 60% healing. If it was a little bit lower healing, then I could possibly see that, but I feel like 5 seconds is way too long. This is actually gonna be really good. Yeah, see, there's the Grievous proc. And look at how long it's on for. It's still on. It's still on. It goes actually nuts. It's actually gonna be disgusting in this matchup now. Like, Sil you would usually have to rush a Executioner's against Silas, but now you don't have to. So it's really, really nice. So yeah, it's just really good. Now we can just do this. He's done. Oh, he doesn't have TP either, so he can just freeze us and we just win the game. GG at 15. <laughs> but yeah. And it's like the buffs actually just insane. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to show my runes. Um, these are the runes I've actually been taking recently. I've been taking Conquer with Triumph, Alacrity, and Last Stand, and then I've been starting to go uh, Demolish again. And the result true with uh, second one. So it's really nice. Hopefully my team doesn't remake. I don't really care about 4v5. I'd rather have a 4v5 so I can actually do the VOD. Oh, I suck. But yeah, the only thing that I guess is somewhat balanced about it is that you actually have to get this, like, the second part of your queue to land. And half the time, it's pretty hard to do that because people can just walk away from it. But if you stick onto them with your E, it's pretty disgusting. Like, Silas can't do anything now. Oh my god, I flashed too late. I just drilled that. Oops. Whatever, that's fine. I thought I would maybe still be in range, and last second I, like, panic flash because I knew I wasn't in range. Oh my gosh, I suck. I'm playing really bad though right now. So my bad. For the rusty mechanics. I'm just gonna back and then TP in. Since I got a lot of gold. But yeah, um, let's mention those are the runes I've been running. They feel really nice. And then I usually like going either Ravenous Hydra first item or uh Cleaver now. So I go Ravenous if I'm snowballing it and I'm like super far ahead and I know I can snowball the game because it's a really, really lame dominant item. But if I know they're like really tanky and I won't be able to like win the matchup super hard, I usually like just go like Cleaver and then go like Titanic second. But if I go Ravnus, then I'll go uh, Black Cleaver second. But yeah. I did experiment with Crit as well a while back, but it's just way too greedy in my opinion. So usually what I've been doing is I would go either Ravnus or Titanic with Cleaver as the first two items. And then I actually have been going um, Randuin's third item, since it got buffed actually this patch. It's on the live servers right now, on 9.12 or whatever patch that is. But yeah, it uh, gives 70 armor now instead of 60, so it got buffed. And also, I really liked Randuin's beforehand anyways. I've been building it for a while. But yeah, the 70 armor is really nice. And then also, just the Randuin's like, slow on engages alone is super insane. And then also the crit reduction as well. 
So I usually build that item almost every game. The only time I won't build that is if they don't have any crit users, obviously. Or they're like heavily AP. But yeah, so far this buff actually is just... I, I think it's a little... <laughs> a little much. <laughs> but... Who knows, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just overreacting. You never know. But yeah, we're gonna get some plates here. Just scale up. I'm gonna go Ravenous this game, on, uh, since I'm super far ahead. But, uh, yeah. But yeah, I think matchups that are gonna, like, benefit Clyde now are, like... Well, what, this buff is going to help benefit Clyde for certain matchups are definitely, like, Fiora is going to get a little bit easier. It's still going to be a pretty hard matchup regardless, but she's going to lose a decent amount of her healing if you land your Q. But then again, she can just parry the second part of the Q and it won't actually do the healing reduction. But that matchup is going to get a little bit easier. Aatrox is going to get a whole heck of a lot easier. Because Aatrox has actually been really annoying recently ever since he got that buff to his... Or whatever it was a couple patches ago. His healing's just been insane, so that's been really annoying. And uh, yeah, even Darius is gonna be a tiny bit easier, but not really. It, it's still gonna be about the same because for the most part, Darius Q doesn't really like affect the matchup too much. But uh, yeah, it's just gonna be really nice against those matchups. It'll allow you to snowball easier as well since you don't have to worry about building executioners. As I mentioned, you save 800 gold. You can just go straight into your build, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, just a really, it's a really nice buff. I still kind of wish instead of doing the armor pen, though, I mean the um, the previous though, that they would have given me like they would have put armor pen instead. Oh shit, what am I doing? Because like. I feel like what Clyde is lacking for the most part right now is he doesn't have armor pen or any kind of shred to tanks or just people who build armor in general. So that's why he falls off so hard. So I was hoping they would have given him armor pen, but I mean, the healing reduction is just going to help him snowball and get ahead. So I mean, it's, it's still a good compensation buff anyways, nonetheless. But uh, yeah, it does seem really good though. I like it. I am playing on PB though, as I mentioned, so the skill gap is pretty high since there's no ranking system on this, so I probably am playing against like maybe a gold player. I don't even know if this guy's sold, maybe he doesn't play too much league. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's why it's not very close. You know, I'm just gonna roam. I don't feel like taking the tower yet. What is Silas doing? He is going off. I'm gonna hold my R. He's gonna throw his tornado, we're gonna R it. Oh, I trolled. Yeah, I can still get him, yeah. My flash is up in one. I actually almost fucked that up because um I accidentally E'd when I went on Yasuo, so I lost my second E. So I went too far, but yeah, that's okay though. That's so decent. I kind of wish it was a little bit more competitive of a lane since since I'm just like hard stomping. We don't know like the true potential of the buff. This is actually would have been a perfect match of the test on. Like, once it goes out on live servers, I'm definitely gonna put up another VOD of it. I'll probably do it on, like, a D4 account. Because I actually want to, like, test this out against, like, players that are somewhat of my skill level, just to see. But as of right now, it does feel pretty nice. But then again, now that I think about it, it's not, like, super OP because, like, as you see, half the time, they usually get their heals off before I even, like, say Salus, for example. He usually would use his W before or anyways before my Q procs but then again afterwards then he just becomes fucked but it's gonna be really disgusting against Aatrox he won't be able to heal at all after you get his, the Q because by the time Aatrox tries to get his Q's off your Q already have been off because usually you throw your Q before he does and he can also still dodge his Q's as well so Aatrox is gonna be probably a really free matchup he still can out damage you if you don't play it correctly 
but it's gonna be pretty free in my opinion, that matchup specifically. But uh, yeah. I guess we'll just end this game since these guys are just like opening at this point. But yeah, eh. We tested it out. Feels nice. You guys got a nice little in-depth on my runes and builds right now as well. Yeah, it kind of sucks this game was just a stomp though. Maybe I should have just held back on the killing for a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I might as well just end this game. Since the team doesn't want, like, they don't want to play. It's like, he's literally just sitting mid. But yeah, it's, yeah, I think it's still a decent vlog. But yeah, um, I don't even know what else to talk about really, because like this game is just over. Actually, I guess we could kill him again. Wait, I, put, I actually bought a minion instead of him. Oops. Oh shit, yo, it's time. Got a spell shield. Okay, now we're gonna go in. Dead. Oh shit, there's a new death recap. I forgot about this actually. Oh, this actually looks cool. See, this is actually a change that looks really cool. Sit down. Wait, I actually didn't, I forgot about this. This actually is cool. It like shows you literally everything. Basic attack, 438. Her Q, or yeah, her Q did 156. W did. 38, and this is all physical damage. The tower did 1700. Yasuo E did 44. Q. Yeah, that's actually a really cool change. I'm actually hyped for that. Don't worry, we died just to test that out, boys. It's definitely what happened, Kappa. We definitely didn't just run it down. That's actually a cool change, though. I like it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this comes out on the live server next week this buff if it goes through which will be on the today's wednesday right yeah so the 10th so right i'm recording this on wednesday july third so it should be up today as well the video as of recording i'm just gonna post it right after this so yeah it's on the third i'm recording this and uh yeah okay we can double kill them here I'm bad. Oh, whatever. I suck. But yeah, Q's gonna be a lot more rewarding with this buff. It's nice. I just hope Clay doesn't become like an actual like fan threat because people don't know how to play around it. Cause that would suck if I. Cause um, Renekton also got buffed this patch. Oh. Uh oh. So yeah, my two champions actually both got buffed this back because Renekton has now like a, an armor or a shield shred on his empowered W or something, which actually seems just insane. But yeah, hopefully Clay doesn't become like an actual like ban for it. I don't think he will because his buffs aren't like over the top. It's not like he's getting like true damage or something that's like insane and they're absurd. He's definitely going to be a solid champion though with his buff. I guess he's been great going back up to where it used to be. Oh shit, I actually was hard spurfed out. If I had one more Q, I think I could have outplayed that. <laughs> that was actually pretty close.
<sighs> but yeah. Okay, so we got our three core items actually that I like using. So I guess this comp this would actually be insane. See, Yasuo and Sivir on the same team. Actually pretty insane. I have kind of been trolling a little bit now, but yeah, whatever. Making the bot a little bit longer, Kappa. A little more entertaining. I actually want to go into like a 1v4 with this to see it. So if I can get the healing reduction before Salas gets his W off, I should just be able to wipe them all. Honestly, even if I get it on anyone, I think it would work pretty well. He's dead. The healing reduction, baby. Bum, bum, bum. Alright, well, let's push mid. But yeah, also, boys, for anyone who's from YouTube, watching this on YouTube, I also have a Twitch. I do live stream pretty frequently for a couple hours. I try to stream every day. There's gonna be some days where I can't. But yeah, I have my link to my Twitch on my, um, in the description down below. It's twitch.tv slash feedaboy. I definitely recommend checking it out because that's probably like the best way for you to ask it, or ask questions to me. Since I can, I usually don't have a delay, so I can answer questions pretty frequently throughout the stream. So if you have any questions about Clyda or just anything in general, just definitely um, let me know on when I'm streaming. Because yeah, it's probably like the best place to uh, get information from me. Since I try to answer YouTube comments, it's just I usually probably will take a little while to answer them. But yeah, if you ask me while I'm streaming, it'll probably be like within like 10 seconds I'll probably answer the question. But yeah, I also have my Twitter as well in the description if you want to go follow that. I post a lot of things. I post whenever I go live, upload videos, or just stuff in general, what, what I'm feeling about League on a certain day. But yeah, definitely go, uh, definitely recommend go check, checking out, I can't even speak. <laughs> definitely recommend checking out all my socials. But yeah. Also, um, I was thinking about doing this for a while now. I think I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do it on or off stream yet. So let me know in the comments if you guys would want to see this. And I could possibly start uploading some of the VODs as well to YouTube. Would you guys be interested in seeing me playing other champions trying to climb the ladder? So like doing an unranked to Masters Plus without club. Would that be um, entertaining to you guys to watch? Or would that just be like, nah, you just want to watch club? Cause I could do something like that if you guys wanted to, but I want to make sure everyone wants to watch that. I don't want to just like force it on the everyone. But uh, yeah. Um, what should we do here? I guess we just push mid. Yeah, I could probably have done this. I'm very fed, so... <laughs> this game should be over. Wait, what? Alrighty. <laughs> Interesting. The demolish damage is nice and juicy once you get the items. It's actually insane. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get both in hips here, probably. Oh shit. Oh, he wind the last one. Uh, Yana? Why do I keep missing my key? I'm so bad, actually. Kiana, you're dead. Or not Kiana, you me. Why am I saying Kiana? <laughs> to be honest, I just called like the new champions now, like all the same name. I'm really dumb. But yeah. Should we let's do one last fight with this build. Oh, I'm gonna block him. Oh shit. 
Oh, he's running away. Oh shit, he's... So turn around. Oh shit. Ah, I didn't. I thought I had flash. I tried flashing. I didn't realize my flash was down. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm actually a troll. Happens. I took um, fountain damage by accident. I tried to like stay at the edge of fountain, but it took some. Sorry, we got more items now, boys. Kappa. Um, what do I even get? I took one more. I don't even think I need it more. Wait, both junglers are AFK in this game. Actually, I didn't realize so it was a 4v4 game. Um, maybe a death stance here would be good. Actually, GA would be nice. So usually, instead of Yomus, I would go death stance or even Sterox, but yeah, this game, I don't know. I just decided to go Yomus. <laughs> you know, let's end this off with a um, signature Fita Boy move, though. We're gonna just TP right here. Got our sweep. Oh, I don't have a sweep for fuck. We're just gonna backdoor it what we do but yeah thanks everyone so much though for uh, watching this video i hope you all enjoyed and yeah i definitely go recommend checking out all my socials as i mentioned they're all in the description down below definitely go check them out also my i, I recommend my stream specifically since yeah that's like my go-to for content creating and stuff but uh yes yeah, be well for it and yeah um i will definitely have a vod of the club buffs once they come out on the live servers for rank. So the matches are a little bit more even to see how it actually feels. But as of right now, I actually think the buff is a really nice buff. I really like it. But yeah, thanks everyone so much as I mentioned for watching. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, everyone. Peace.